President of the National Council of Indian Culture, Senator the Honorable Dirup Timal, and Mrs. Geeta Timal, members of the media, members of the Board of Directors, specially invited guests, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, children. Namaskar, assalamu alaikum, and a pleasant good day to one and all. On this special occasion of Indian Arrival Day, on behalf of our distinguished president of the National Council of Indian Culture, Sri Dirip Timal, I would like to extend warmest greetings and a hearty welcome to one and all to our grand cultural event, Yatra Jari Hai, the journey continues. This day marks the arrival of indented laborers from India to the Caribbean 178 years ago. Their contributions have shaped the culture and history of the region. As we celebrate this day, let us remember and honor the hardships that our forefathers faced while traveling thousands of miles to a foreign land and the sacrifices they endured to, to secure a better future for their descendants. That's people like you and I. Today we celebrate the resilience and determination of our ancestors whose legacy continues to inspire us to forge ahead with renewed vigor and determination. I invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy this special day with us. And to all our global viewers viewing on Sankhya Television, once again, a warm welcome to you to the main stages of NCIC Nagar. Relax and enjoy this special presentation as I now bless you with my departure. So to conduct the proceedings from now, I will introduce to you, I, will, I beg your pardon, I will introduce to you Miss Leanne Diane Duki. Miss Duki. Thank you, Mr. Mongru. Namaste, assalamu alaikum, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining us. So first up, we have the winners of the NCIC Dance Contest 2017, 2018, and 2019. This group is led by Rishi Singh and Danraj Singh. They are doing an invocation dance offering salutations to Sri Ganesh. Following the dance, we will have R.G. the band, led by Rishi Gayadeen. This band was formed four years ago and has been representing Indian culture internationally and locally. Rishi Gayadeen has performed for not just the local but interna international artists as far as India. And also we'll have singing for us the very beautiful and talented Nadia Madhu. But first up, let's welcome the Hari Pasad and Sons Nritya Sangam Dance Company. Tam, 
ವರಕಾಶಿನಾಥ ವಿನುತ ಚರಿತ್ರ ವಾಮನ ರೂಪ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಪುತ್ರ ಕರುಣ ಜೂಡು ಮಾಂ ಪಟ್ಲ ಪರಾಕು ಶಾಯಕ ವಿಘ್ನ ವಿನಾಯಕ ದೇವ ಪ್ರಣಾಮು ತಕ್ಕಿಟತಕ ತಿಂಕಿಟತಕ ತುಂಕಿಟತಕ ನಮ್ Namaste, Sitaram. Good evening, everyone. It is indeed a privilege and pleasure for us to be here this afternoon. My name is Nadia Madhu, and on stage are members of RG The Band, we're led by Rishi Gairin, powered by KSS Sounds. Happy Indian Arrival 2023.
Spacious aisles of total convenience, plus clean, safe surroundings. Let us care for you. Extra foods, always extra for less. I speak of none other than Mr. Deirup Timal. Deirup Timal was born and raised in Tunapuna. He is the proud father of two. 
and has been a community activist for most of his life. He is now the new and current president of the National Council of Indian Culture, the NCIC. Even with his increased workload at the NCIC, his duties as an independent senator and heading up his construction business, he is a civil and structural engineer and project manager with over 37 years experience. Timal continues to be involved in the Hindu Swayam Sevak Sangh, a voluntary non-profit social and cultural organization which aims to organize the Hindu community in order to preserve, promote, and preach Hindu ideals and values. It gives me great pleasure to now introduce to you, to bring greetings, the President of the National Council of Indian Culture, Mr. Deirup Timal. Thank you very much, Vijay. Namaskar and a most pleasant afternoon to everyone here. Today, it is 29 years since um, Indian Arrival Day was declared a holiday. And um, in a country with a lot of public holidays, Indian Arrival Day was added, you know, and some people are still asking, why? Now we have 14 public holidays, outside of Carnival that is. Seven are based on religious, um, the religious diversity of the country. And uh, we have two dedicated to nation. That is of course our Independence Day and Republic Day. Three for the welcoming of the New Year, Boxing Day and um, Labor Day. And it leaves two public holidays namely Indian Arrival Day and Emancipation Day, that I believe these two holidays have a tremendous role to play in the shaping of our young nation. So what we do with Indian Arrival Day is of particular importance because it is an opportunity to build, to go beyond tolerance and build understanding, build respect, build trust, enhance the knowledge of our Girmitya forefathers who came to this land so that the citizens of Trinidad and Tobago can develop a broader understanding and an appreciation, thus bringing about that trust and that confidence and that respect for each other in our diverse nation. And in this regard, the National Council of Indian Culture has embraced Indian Arrival Day over the years. But last year, we deliberately branded the month of May Indian Heritage Month to coincide with the celebration or the commemoration of Indian Arrival Day. And this year is the second year that we have organized a series of events throughout the month of May. Now, it is not just about the performing arts, and it is not just about the visual arts, but we have also included, you know, um, the work started by the NCIC Heritage Center, particularly in the area of um, literature and literary works by some of our local authors. So on display this year, you know, we have had, uh, we have mounted a display by, uh, of books by Indo-Trinidadian authors, particularly women authors, and in addition, all authors who have written books on the Indian experience here in Trinidad and Tobago and in the wider Caribbean. And we hope to expand this in the years to come and also to broaden our collection at our heritage library that is housed on this very site. We also started off with a breakfast seminar, and um, that breakfast seminar was um, based on debunking the myths, some of the myths surrounding um, Indian, uh, Indian indentorship. And it was well received. I think um, on TTT it has been played several times, and we understand from the producers at TTT that a lot of interest has been shown. 
because we did address um, we did address uh, some of the myths regarding land, regarding the the issue of Ill illegitimacy, regarding Hindu and uh, Muslim marriages, and we intend to delve further um, into that. So, I would like to welcome our Minister of uh, Tourism, Culture and the Arts, Senator the Honorable Randall Mitchell, um, Mr. Winston Dukaran, our feature speaker, Mr. Surajir Mangro, our first Vice President, other directors of the board of the NCIC, members of the NCIC, and all of you who have joined us here physically and who are also looking at us virtually on our YouTube channel. We trust that in the years to come, you will continue to support us. I must acknowledge the support from the Ministry of Tourism, Culture and the Arts for their most um, generous uh, contribution to this year's uh, celebration. And we trust um, further collaboration, we can have a more synergetic relationship as we go down the road. We would also like to acknowledge our sponsors and thank them very much for their support, but details of which you would get later down the road um, when Mr. Mongro um, gave the closing remarks for this program. So please, everybody, enjoy the program. And once again, thank you all very much for your support. Thank you, President Timol. We'd like to recognize the presence of our Minister of Tourism, Culture, and the Arts, Senator the Honorable Randall Mitchell, as well as our feature speaker, Mr. Winston Dukaran. Continuing with the entertainment, the following artist holds a bachelor's degree in geomatics engineering and is pursuing a master's in geoinformatics. He's an accomplished musician, a finalist in Mustana Bahar, NCIC's UCHAMP competition, the Prime Minister's Best Village competition, and in 2022, he was crowned the champion at the Niliji Independence Classical Singing Competition. This evening, he'll be performing local classical songs and traditional chutney. Following this item, we'd also have a singer, musician, composer, songwriter, and television personality who's a member of the NCIC, who serves on various social outreach boards and organizations performing two local compositions, Mr. Ram Naris Dwarka. But ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together for David Shish Ramdat. So, so check one. So, testing for sound one, two. संघ सकल तीरथ जहां वसत जहां हरि कथा को प्रसंग यहां बैठे ध्यान सुनो खोलो दोनों कान देवशिष के सुनो ये है सच्चा ज्ञान ये जागो मेरे प्यारे जागो मेरे प्यारे आयर जागो मेरे प्यारे आयर जागो बंसी वाले 
ये जागो मेरे अरे जागो बंसी वाले ललना जागो मेरे प्यारे अरे जागो बंसी वाले ललना जागो मेरे प्यारे
सत्संग अरे सत्संग ने लाला भवन नहीं आए ये शाम देव तेरे पिनती करत है ये शाम बुद्रा तेरे पिनती करत है ये तुम तो गए फल भरी फल भरी तुम तो गए फल भरी फल भरी अरे सकीन में अरे सकीन में लाला भवन नहीं आए Thank you. At Extra Foods, we care for you. That's why we always have the widest variety, the best prices, spacious aisles of total convenience, plus clean, safe surroundings. Let us care for you. Extra Foods, always extra for less. for you. That's why we always have the widest variety, the best prices, spacious aisles of total convenience, plus clean, safe surroundings. Sita and Shani in the audience. Most of you would have been hearing me on the radio and television talking about alcoholism and drug addiction today I have composed with the help of my mother a song that would send a message this would be followed by another song on the indentureship experience the lyrics are very important pay attention uh, जो विद्या को नहीं पढ़े सो पीछे पछताए अंतिम में गदह बने लाद लाद मर जाए दारू का पीना छोड़ दो तुम भारत देश के लाले दारू का पीना छोड़ दो तुम भारत देश के लाले दारू का पीना छोड़ दो तुम भारत देश के लाले दारू पी के दंगा करते मात पिता के बात न माने दारू पी के दंगा करते मात पिता के बात न माने मुख तुम करो चंदा लाल तुम करो चंदा लाल तुम भारत देश के लाल 
experiences our ancestors went through coming here on this internship journey. दाद के नौकरियारे मोर बाबूजी मैं तो आया जिन्नी दाद के नौकरियार मोर बाबूजी मोर बाबू मोर बाबू मोर बाबूजी मोर बाबू मोर बाबू मोर बाबू तो आया जिन्नी दाद के नौकरियारे मोर बाबूजी मैं तो अच्छी दाते नौकरियारे मोर बाबूजी मुलुक से आया चिनी तत्वा में उतरी मुलुक से आया चिनी तत्वा में उतरी कोठी में मिल गए कोठरिया रे मोर बाबूजी अरे कोठी में मिल गए कोठरिया रे मोर बाबूजी मैं तो चिनी दाते नौकरिया रे मोर बाबूजी मोर बाबू मोर बाबू मोर बाबूजी मोर बाबू मोर बाबू मोर बाबूजी मैं तो आया चिनी दाते नौकरिया रे मोर बाबूजी मैं तो आया चिनी दाते भूत भोर सरकार जगावे भूत भोर सरकार जगावे साहिब पीते के वरिया रे मोर बाबू जी अरे साहिब पीते के वरिया रे मोर बाबू जी 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 मैं तो चिनी दाते नौकरिया रे मोर बाबू जी मैं तो पन 
पनवा में दाल भात काने पर कुदारी पनवा में दाल भात काने पर कुदारी केन पीस के कर ले तैयारी रे मोर बाबू जी अरे केन पीस के कर ले तैयारी रे मोर बाबू जी मोर बाबू मोर बाबू मोर बाबू जी मोर बाबू मोर बाबू मोर बाबू जी मैं तो आया तुम्हें दाखिल कर यारे मोर बाबू जी मैं तो सफा सफा केंतुल मांगे चिकन चिकन धारी सफा सफा केंतुल मांगे चिकन चिकन धारी ऊपर से गरियावे महतारी रे मोर बाबू जी अरे ऊपर से गरियावे महतारी रे मोर बाबू जी मोर बाबू मोर बाबू मोर बाबू जी मोर बाबू मोर बाबू मोर बाबू जी मैं तो आया जिनी धारे नो करिया रे मोर बाबू जी मैं तो छूट गए माए बाप छूट गए भाई बंधु छूट गए माए बाप छूट गए भाई बंधु छूट गए सारी नगरिया रे मोर बाबू जी अरे छूट गए सारी नगरिया रे मोर बाबू जी मोर बाबू मोर बाबू मोर बाबू जी मोर बाबू मोर बाबू मोर बाबू जी मैं तो आया सीधा तीन करिया रे मोर बाबू जी मैं तो सीधा तीन करिया रे मोर बाबू जी मैं तो थैंक यू वेरी मच Thank you to Devishesh Ramdath and Ram Nareesh Dwaraka. Namaste. I trust that you all are enjoying the program thus far. My name is Devi Ramnath, and I will be one of your hosts for the today's program as well. Our next item, specializing in Indian classical dancing, modern Indian dance, as well as chutney and soca dances, the Kalnayak Dance Academy takes great pleasure in being role models for the upcoming generation. and recognizes their responsibility to ensure the longevity of both east indian and local culture in trinidad and tobago dancing to har kar de by niti mohan with choreography by brian mangaru the kalnayak dance academy will perform next after the kalnayak dance academy we have the shiva gana organization whose motto is empowerment through self upliftment which is the mantra which inspires their work in communities whether it's religious cultural or social they are also the only group that celebrates both ram leela and krishna leela annually they are here to perform today a chautal a traditional folk item so please join me in welcoming our first item the kalnayak dance academy Yeah. 
At Extra Foods, we care for you. That's why we always have the widest variety, the best prices, spacious aisles of total convenience, plus clean, safe surroundings. Let us care for you. Extra Foods, always extra for less.
care for you. That's why we always have the widest variety, the best prices, spacious aisles of total convenience, plus clean, safe surroundings. Let us care for you. Extra Foods, always extra for less. Things we now invite charge affairs of the Indian High Commission, Sri Raju Sharma, to bring us greetings. All protocols observed. His Excellency, Mr. Randall Mitchell, Honorable Minister for Tourism, Culture and the Arts. His Excellency, Dr. Winston Dukran, former Honorable Finance Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs. Senator, the Honorable Devrup Timal, President, National Council of Indian culture, <coughs> dignitaries and excellencies present on the occasion, Mr. Suraj Dev Mangru, first Vice President, National Council of Indian Culture, Mr. Sadev Pratap, Mr. Chandradat Singh, former High Commissioner of Fort and and Tobago to the Republic of India, and ma'am, distinguished guests, members of media, and my brothers and sisters in Trinidad and Tobago. Sita Ram, good evening. Sadar Namaskar from High Commission of India in Port of Spain. I am more than privileged and honored to have been invited with so much of affection by the National Council of Indian Culture to join all of you in the celebration of the Indian Arrival Day 2023. <coughs> which is very aptly themed with Yatra Jari Hai, the journey is on. The indentured laborers from various parts of India, as we all know, had landed in Trinidad and Tobago in 1845, that is 178 years ago. 178 years ago, 178 years are a very small period in the life of a nation. History tells us that they left some part of their life behind in India when they started from India in small numbers. And also they brought along quantifiably small but a variety of knowledge, skills, equipment, food, clothes, faiths, emotions, sentiments, sincerity, loyalty, determination, hard work, spirit of life, desire to fulfill their dreams and perseverance to succeed, which has gradually resulted in ensuring that their descendants feel proud as a Trinidadian national. The ancestors from India, marked with first arrivals, are understood to have toiled very, very hard with blood and sweat to settle down, form families, make homes and settle down in this rainbow nation called Trinidad and Tobago. The later generations have since grown, hearing stories that the first arriving forefathers gave their all to the society and to the nation. And that is how the nations are built. Yatra jari hai, the journey goes on. Today, you all enjoy life while taking proud pride in their heritage and legacy. Heritage contains history filled with lessons and legacy carries the responsibility assigned by your forefathers to you to build a future for next generation. What we are and how we conduct now is the contemporary civilization and this will become history 
फॉर द फ्यूचर जनरेशंस वन डे सो यात्रा जारी है एंड द जर्नी इज स्टिल ऑन इट हैज़ बीन माई लर्निंग दैट टंडार एंड टोबेगो एंड इंडिया शेयर लैंग्वेजेस भोजपुरी अवधि हिंदी उर्दू एंड अदर्स फेथ्स एंड बिलीव्स फेस्टिवल्स ट्रेडिशंस कन्वेंशंस प्रैक्टिस फूड कॉस्ट्यूम्स आर्ट एंड कल्चर नॉलेज एंड स्किल्स थाट्स एक्शंस परसेप्शंस एंड मच मच मोर एनी इंडियन लिविंग हियर इन ट्रिंडार एंड टोबेगो फील्स एट होम बिकॉज ही फाइंड्स क्वाइट अ लॉट ऑफ वॉट ही नीड्स टू सर्वाइव वेल कंसिडरिंग द यूजल इंडियन लाइफ स्टाइल एंड वेन यू ट्रैवल टू इंडिया यू टू ऑब्जर्व एंड फील द कॉमननेस ऑफ वेरियस एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ लाइफ एंड यू कैन कंपेयर दैम टू योर्स इन योर ओन वे नो डाउट द फोर फादर्स ऑफ आर्स एंड योर्स once lived on the same soil and those natural instincts make us very similar in many aspects despite the changes in lifestyles that have crept in our lives during these close to 18 decades hum ek jaise hi hain we are similar the people who visit india with any purpose get an opportunity to land on the soil their forefathers came here from to see what has changed and transformed in india since then they can compare analyze and draw conclusions of their own analysis prompts ponderance the corona virus pandemic seems to be over now and life has returned to be quasi normal now as the world is changing at a fast pace it is imperative that the people of the two countries join hands and explore together information technology digital transformation artificial intelligence higher education pharmaceuticals renewable energy work business tourism medical tourism agriculture infrastructure traditional systems of indian medicine yog spirituality and action for future growth as well as tracing the roots if we build on what we have inherited and secure a green clean future with facilities support and opportunities for gen next it will be a tribute to the forefathers of yours and mine and that is what i wish to say yatra jari rehni chahiye the journey must go on in my belief some vital factors that keep us interwoven are language language i believe is the mother of knowledge as it gives birth to thoughts and action sanskar faiths and paths festivals are similar perceptions despite different lifestyles and our curiosity to keep exploring what is happening there in tendad and tobago or here in india man ke bandhan आज भी हैं एलिमेंट्स ऑफ बॉन्ड्स स्टिल कीप अस टुगेदर वेल बाउंड वी हैव टू एग्री दैट थिंग्स हैव नॉट रिमेन द सेम एज दे वर वन हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी एट ईयर्स अगो ऑफकोर्स चेंजिंग सिचुएशन एंड डिवेलपमेंट्स हैव एक्सपेक्टेडली चेंज लाइफ स्विफ्टली क्वाइटली एंड नेचुरली बट वी थिंक अलॉन्ग द सेम लाइन्स हाउ टू इम्प्रूव द लाइफ and the quality of life this common thought process forms the basis of long term vision well planned action determinations patience and perseverance however there is need to remain unstoppable until a bright future is at our doorstep we have to learn from the past act in the present and build a safe developed future for younger generations if we work together we can grow and prosper together self reliance and support to each other are two key factors that will make us survive well in any situation in future yatra ek sath bhi jari reh sakti hai the journey can be performed together too from the perspective of long term future i always appeal to the children and the youth 
you are today you are tomorrow you are the nation the present and the future depend on what you are and how you conduct nation is like a human body always under construction you have to give your very best to keep rebuilding the nation of your dreams i believe that trinidad and tobago and india can take potential to partnership but the question is will we do so and how india has been a friend and will always remain a reliable partner in the future to come let us pray that our friendship strengthens further in decades to come aaiye yatra ek sath jari rakhe let us travel together in future as well i once again convey my sincere thanks to the national council of indian culture ncic for inviting us at this annual introspective commemoration and to their team who made this beautiful event possible and successful today i am also indebted to all of you for the warm hospitality friendliness and sincerity which we always keep receiving when we leave trinidad and tobago we will certainly carry with us fond memories of your love thank you very much thank you very much charge de fairs shri raju sharma at this time we would like to ask shri raju sharma to please take center stage we would like to also request the first vice president of the national council of indian culture mr suraj de mangru to now present a token of appreciation on behalf of the national council of indian culture thank you very much shri raju sharma charge the affairs of the indian high commission of india in trinidad and tobago and also the first vice president of the national council of indian culture shri suraj de mangru to tell us what's next i now invite shri lian duki Thank you Vijay and we must say thank you to Central Exotic Orchids for those beautiful floral arrangements. Next on our program she started singing at the age of 5. She's the granddaughter of the late classical singing icon Ustad Ramdani Sharma performing a local classical and traditional chutney. Let's welcome Sintra Suku.
you very much, Sintra Suku. And there's no doubting that our traditional music is one of the most energetic, most attractive music that we've ever heard. And we continue to promote it, preserve it, and salute all those who continue their mission to continue to bring this wonderful music to the world. Thank you so much, Sintra Suku and group. I always say that the survival of any culture is dependent upon the youth of tomorrow. Many of you might not be seeing it, but I saw one of the most beautiful things happening while that presentation was taking place. Just to the back, we have a lot of little children dressed in beautiful ethnic wear, and they were dancing to the folk music of Sintra Suku. I want to ask you to give the children a loud round of applause. Without doubt, they are the future, and this is the music we want them to continue with. So thank you so much to the children, and we encourage you to continue enjoying all the presentations on stage. Dance takes the spotlight. Folk dance, in particular, in the style of Kamsale. The song is from the state of Karnataka. It has elaborate dance moves with a lot of acrobatics. We now present to you the Nitya Sangam Dance Group. Yeah. 
awesome dancers for that energetic performance. To bring greetings, I now invite the Minister of Tourism, Culture and the Arts, the Senator, the Honorable Randall Mitchell. Thank you very much. Allow me to recognize, of course, my friend from the lower house, the Member of Parliament for Shagornas West, Mr. Dinesh Rambali. I also recommend, sorry, I also acknowledge Senator the Honorable Dirup Timal, Independent Senator and President of the NCIC. Mr. Raju Sharma, Charge de Affairs, Indian High Commission. Mr. Winston Dukaran, the feature speaker and former member of parliament, former minister of finance. Mr. Suraj Deo Manguru, first vice president, NCIC. All the artists and performers here tonight, members of the media, a special good evening. On behalf of the Ministry of Tourism, Culture and the Arts and the Government of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, I extend warm and sincere greetings to our nation's East Indian community. It is my distinct pleasure to be here with you today on Indian Arrival Day as we commemorate the 178th anniversary of the arrival of our brothers and sisters from India. And I join you in reflecting on this year's theme, Yatra Jari Hai, the journey continues. The arrival of our Indian brothers and sisters in 1845 through the indentureship system is one of the significant landmarks in the history of Trinidad and Tobago. Our Indian brothers and sisters brought with them new and rich cultural expressions of song, dance, language, community building, cuisine, clothing, festivals, and religious observances, which have become infused in the tapestry of our lives. Festivals like Diwali, Eid, and Pagwa, the cathartic sounds of the tabla, and the energizing and soothing musical rhythms. The delicious taste of culinary delicacies are all Trinbago pleasures that testify to some of the ways in which the original Indian arrivals have permeated our culture. However, the Indian community introduced more than their song, dance, and dress, and cuisine. As children of the indentureship, we have contributed diligence, forward thinking, and entrepreneurship to our nation. Our social reality has been infused with the traditions of the indo trinbegonian community. And now, our twin island state can boast of a unique richness and diverse culture, which indeed is to our advantage, and which always serves to unite us rather than divide us. Today, we remember the sacrifices and contributions of our ancestors who arrived in Trinidad under difficult circumstances. We honor their journey, which was marked by resilience, determination, and a commitment to building a better future. And we recognize the ongoing journey of our nation to preserve and celebrate our diverse traditions while also forging ahead towards new growth. The Ministry of Tourism, Culture and the Arts recognizes the importance of our national days and the ways that they contribute to a sense of patriotism and shared commitment to national development. For this reason, the Ministry continues to be a proud supporter of our national festivals and religious observances for many years. We see these occasions as critical aspects of our cultural expression as well as unifiers 
of the national community. Regardless of ethnicity or religious belief, we celebrate each occasion with a deep sense of Trinbegunian pride. The government, through its cultural agreement signed with India, has provided the opportunity for Indo-Trinbegunians to connect with its roots. Over the years, we have seen nationals pursuing scholarships in India in a variety of subjects such as Hindi, dance, and music, thus allowing them to not only be fully immersed in the culture, but providing an opportunity for them to impart their knowledge to nationals through workshops and performances. This has contributed to improving the standard of the arts in Trinidad and Tobago. Additionally, most Indian goods are available locally, from clothing and food furniture to exotic spices and prepackaged foods. So those unable to travel there can still truly experience India in their own homeland. Though Trinidad and Tobago's journey is far from over, let us continue with unwavering hope, perseverance, and dedication to building a brighter future for all. Our approach should mirror that of the pioneers who came here before us. As they triumphed over many challenges, so too must we do the same. As they came together to build strong communities and to preserve rich traditions, so too must we collaborate to reach higher heights. Let us come together to celebrate our past, our present, and our days ahead. Let us honor the sacrifices of our ancestors and the invaluable richness of our cultural heritage. The journey, ladies and gentlemen, indeed continues. Thank you very much. Thank you very, thank you very much, Senator the Honorable Randall Mitchell. Mr. Mitchell, can you please join us center stage? I now invite the President of the National Council of Indian Culture, Mr. Deirup Timal, to present a token of our appreciation. We now continue with our program. I invite Vijay to tell us what's next. Thank you very much, Devi Ji. Shri Rana and Srimati Suzanne Mohip, both are lecturers at the University of Trinidad and Tobago, also musical gurus in their own right teaching and promoting culture throughout Trinidad and Tobago and the wider world. To do three ghazals, the first of which will be a duet, we now bring to you Sri Rana and Srimati Suzanne Mohip.
उसने हाथ छोड़ दिया वो कर
क्या करूं सबको मालूम है मैं शराबी नहीं फिर भी कोई पिलाए तो मैं क्या करूं सिर्फ और एक बात नजरों से नजरे मिले सिर्फ और एक बात नजरों से नजरे मिले और कसम टूट जाए तो मैं क्या करूं सबको मालूम है मैं शराबी नहीं फिर भी कोई पिलाए तो मैं क्या करूं समझते हैं सब बाधा कश क्योंकि उनकी तरह लर कराता हूँ मैं मुझको मैं कश समझते हैं सब बाधा कश क्योंकि उनकी तरह लर कराता हूँ मैं मेरी रग रग में समझ में न आए तो मैं क्या करूं जो समझ में न आए तो मैं क्या करूं सिर्फ वो एक बात नजरों से नजरे मिले सिर्फ वो एक बात नजरों से नजरे मिले और कसम टूट जाए तो मैं क्या करूं और कसम टूट जाए तो कैसी लत कैसी चाहत कहानी कथा बेकुटी में है अनवर खुदी का नशा कैसी लत कैसे चाहत कहानी कथा बेकुटी में है अनवर खुदी का नशा जिंदगी एक नशे के सिवा कुछ नहीं जिंदगी एक नशे के सिवा कुछ नहीं जिंदगी एक नशे के सिवा कुछ नहीं तुमको पीना ना आए तो मैं क्या करूं तुमको पीना ना आए तो मैं क्या करूं सिर्फ वो एक बात नजरों से फिर भी कोई पिलाए तो मैं क्या करूं फिर भी कोई पिलाए तो मैं क्या करूं लेट्स हेयर इट वंस मोर फॉर श्री राना मोहिब एंड हिज ग्रुप So remember, we are also streaming live on our NCIC's YouTube channel, where you can see our month of activities 
Remember, this is deemed Indian Heritage Month, and our theme this year is Yatra Jari Hai. The journey continues. Over the month of May, we had numerous activities, which included our Night of Sashriya Sangeet, a night of local classical and traditional chutney, our youths in concert, our night of gazelles and geets, and our breakfast seminar, which was held on the 6th of May. We also had book launches by author Veronica Rajaram and Beyond Indentureship, Indo Trinidadian Entrepreneurs by Mr. Hemraj Ramdat, who is also a member of the NCIC. Remember, you can see all these things on our YouTube channel. Be sure to check it out. Even this uh, um, program that we have right now, you can look back at it. We must also say thank you to some of the people who may make this evening possible. Krishna Sounds, All Events, Lighting, Extra Foods Limited, The Little Store, Central Exotic Orchids. Continuing with the entertainment. Performing to Boom Pari. This group needs no introduction. Their name says it all. With choreography by the dance maestro himself, Mr. Michael Salikram, let's welcome the Shiv Shakti Dance Company.
Thank you once again to the Shiv Shakti School of Dance. Our next set of performers are going to grace our stage with talent. As a Trinidadian-born musician, Rishi Gayadeen has performed locally, regionally, and internationally. Rishi continues to inspire with his outstanding musical capabilities as he continues to create his legacy through hard work, determination, and dedication, along with the other members of RG The Band. Following RG The Band, we have Caitlin Sultan, who is nine years of age and has been performing for the past three years. She won second place in both the Mahatma Gandhi Charitable Organization's Youth Champ as well as the school's intellectual Chutney Mona competition. Most recently, she was cr also crowned Queen of Chutney Soka Monarch 2023. She will be performing some of her most recent and popular songs for us. Following Caitlin, Caitlin we also have our third performer, Prakash Ramcharan, who has always had a passion for singing ever since he was a child. He was a former finalist of the NCIC Youth Champ competition and frontline vocalist for the band, the TNTech Gaia Tunes. I now invite Rishi Gaia Dean and RG the band to perform for us. Namaste, Namaste. Sitaram. Assalamu alaikum, everyone.
Let's hear it once more for the very talented Caitlin Sultan. I think you all can do better than that. And now it gives me great pleasure to invite on stage to bring greetings Member of Parliament for Shogunas West, Mr. Dinesh Rambali. Sitaram, and good evening to everyone. The, our Minister of Tourism and Culture, my good friend, the Honorable Senator, the Honorable Randall Mitchell, our High Commissioner to India, His Excellency Sri Raju Sharma, or his Dharampatni. Independent Senator Mr. Derub Timal, also President of the NCIC, Mr. Surujde Mongru, First Vice President of the National Council of Indian Culture, all of you cherished guests and attendees, and of course this evening our feature speaker, a true patriot, Mr. Winston Dukaran, esteemed and former MP for Shigwanas. I wish to say that, you know, it is my pleasure to join him here this evening. And before I get started, I want to let you all know that, you know, I saw young Caitlin here, who was the last performer, along with Rishi Gayadin and his band. And it is truly something really wonderful that is taking place in our society. When we can see our youths perform in this manner, and the message of her first song why not let us come and unite and this is something that our society needs now more than ever and really that is the theme which i would want to dwell upon this evening so as i start i want to thank the national council of indian culture for the opportunity to bring indian arrival the greetings as we commemorate the 178th anniversary of the arrival of our east indian ancestors to this land I wish to say a few words this evening about the contribution of the East Indians and their invaluable contribution to nation building. Last year I was honored by the NCIC to be the feature speaker and I spoke about the contribution of our ancestors and how it is we have all become trained begonians and we have all assisted in defining patriotism. This history that we talk about is part of my own history my paternal grandfather and maternal great-grandfather came from India their struggles and those of the other indentured laborers still resonate within me it is time that we in Trinidad and Tobago honor that struggle it is only by keeping their stories alive that we can truly appreciate the fires from which we as a people have been forged during the indentureship period when many Indian immigrants came to Trinidad, India was plagued by repeated famines. People were forced to seek economic opportunities just to survive. And many of our forefathers and mothers were promised a bright future. Yet, upon reaching the depot where they were housed for weeks before embarking on a ship across the Kalapani, what we usually call in English the dark oceanic waters, and into Trinidad, the full horror of what they had gotten themselves into became evident. The inhumane conditions they faced, such as the jostling for physical space and the inability to have privacy, made many of these migrants contemplate and even attempt suicide. Female immigrants were particularly disrespected, with male recruiters examining their bodies. This was just the beginning of their journey at the depot. 
One can only imagine what they anticipated would happen when they embarked on the ship and more so in that far away land called Trinidad or Trinidad. By all accounts, their future must have seemed bleak. And upon arriving in Trinidad, these immigrants faced an identity crisis. Were they Indians, Trinidadians, or both? And as they searched for answers to the question, who am I now, they were confronted by the same crisis of identity that all forebears had to face. However, as time passed, they decided to create a small community where they could keep their cultural traditions alive. They practiced their religions and maintained their way of life against the backdrop of colonial oppression. Eventually, they embraced Trinidad as their new motherland, and it became the source of their economic well-being. Over the years, integration intensified, and today we can proudly see the strides that our ancestors have made by the descendants of those brave immigrants. We celebrate right on this venue festivals such as Eid, Diwali, Corpus Christi, and Christmas, each with its own national significance. We have several denominational primary schools and secondary schools in this country. We are no longer deemed illegitimate by birth. All marriages are properly recognized by law. We have Indian leaders having occupied the highest offices of this nation. Winston Dukaran is case on point and even receiving the nation's highest awards. If our ancestors had a chance to glimpse into what would be their future, which is our present, they would no doubt be extremely proud to see the strides that their descendants have made, all because of the initial sacrifices they made. But I hasten to add that our ancestors did not have access to the expanse of technology that we have nowadays. They did not have computers, nor smartphones. They had no internet. They traveled without vehicles and painstakingly walked miles without footwear to meet each other with a common goal in mind. They united in purpose and dreams. Ladies and gentlemen, the ideal way to honor each and every one of our forefathers is to build upon the platform they laid for us and ensure that we leave something greater for our children than what our ancestors left for us. They would certainly be honored in our own efforts in preserving their cultural and religious traditions, which they defended against the colonizing wind that was blowing against them. And this brings me to the unity which they promoted. Ladies and gentlemen, unity is something that every, every right-thinking citizen and politician must aspire for. We can certainly take an example from their lives. They became united for the sake of keeping traditions alive. Singing and praying together, celebrating festivals, reading the holy books, and preserving religious customs for their children and grandchildren. Their unity was indeed their strength. Together, they fought for their space to practice their culture and religions freely. They even fought for their physical space to live peacefully. They all toiled in the fields, sweating profusely, shedding tears and blood in this soil. And as the soil yielded to them, they also yielded to it as a child yields to its mother. Today, I pay tribute to all ancestors, whether East Indians, Africans, and the many other races which populate our beloved country. I pay tribute to all. We, their descendants, are Trinidadians and Tobagonians. We say Trinbagonians. This is our present unreserved identity which we recognize was carved out of their history. And I dare say that the majority of us are content within ourselves. We sing the national anthem, feel pride when we see our flag flying on the international world stage, when we bounce up a Trinbagonian in a foreign country, we cheer on our cricketers, footballers, our medalists. But it is not enough, ladies and gentlemen. 
And this is where we must muster up all of our ancestors' strength, determination, fortitude, grit, passion, and the unity of purpose which flowed in their blood must now be summoned through our veins to overcome the modern day obstacles which face us, particularly crime. We must rid our country of tribalism, divide and rule strategies, racism, and oppression of any form and or fashion. So I say to you as I conclude, we must unite the spirit and will of our ancestors in our commitment to protect our women and children, and nowadays especially our children, from the criminals that are holding them hostage in so many ways. When we deliver them to a place of safety and respect, where their spirits can flourish and their aspirations can soar, then we can truly say that we have honored our ancestors. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the message I would like to leave with everyone today. While we recognize that our ancestors undertook the most crucial part of the journey to bringing us here today, our lives must be an expression of gratitude to their contribution. So let us emulate their dreams in which people can thrive in safety, in which our aspirations can take shape, and our children can travel a road without limits, where each port of call greets them without old prejudice and censure, and where the legacy that they have planted 178 years ago can finally shine against the darkest skies. Happy Indian Arrival Day 2023. Thank you. Dhanyavadaha. I'd like to ask you to join us. Center stage, please. And I'd like to invite uh, Ms. Nirmala Ramsaran, the treasurer of the NCIC, to make the presentation. Thank you, MP, and thank you, Nirmala. <laughs> the entertainment continues. Performing Chutney Party by Ruplal G. This dance is led by the talented Brian Mongru. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the Kal Nayak Academy of Dance. I feel it now in the mood to fly. <laughs> Jam the music, please, Mr. DJ. Yeah, yeah. We want to dance and break away. Are you ready? The party hot, the party hot, the party hot, hot, hot. The party hot, the party hot, the party. Hey. Just the other night I'm feeling so happy I'm feeling so nice Jamming in this party Make me feel so right hey. Yes, the party rama oh, yeah. Yes, the party jam <laughs> Everybody jumping And raising their hand The party hot The party hot The party hot Nacho, nacho de la Nacho de la Dile ya abandona para Nacho de la Nacho, nacho de la Ya apan bana bana chorela Oh, God, to cool this fever. 
river. I don't want no water. That can cool me down. Leave me, let me jump up. Wave and carry on. The body hot, the body hot, the body hot. Nacho, nacho de nacho de na. Ita ya kapanda na para nacho de na. for you. That's why we always have the widest variety, the best prices, spacious aisles of total convenience, plus clean, safe surroundings. Let us care for you. Extra foods. Always extra. Mr. Winston Dukaran. Winston Chandraban Dukaran, Order of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, is a Trinidadian and Tobagonian economist and former politician as well as international public official. Mr. Dukaran is currently the Secretary General of the EUCLID, an intergovernmental institution of higher learning. He previously served as political leader of the Congress of the People, Central Bank Governor, Minister of Finance, and Minister of Foreign Affairs. A graduate of the University of Manitoba and London, the London School of Economics, Mr. Dukaran spent some 15 years as a lecturer at the Department of Economics at the University of the West Indies. In 1981, he successfully contested the constituency of Shigwanas as a candidate of the United Labour Front. And in 1986, when the ULF merged with other parties to form the National Alliance for Reconstruction, NAR, he again successfully contested the constituency of Shigwanas. Mr. Dukaran was made a cabinet member and he was appointed Minister of Planning and Mobilization. Mr. Dukaran later became Deputy Political Leader of the NAR was a senior member of the government and acted on several occasions as the Prime Minister, most notably during the attempted coup of 1990 by the Jamaat al-Muslimin. After Mr. Dukaran lost his seat in the 1991 elections, he later became senior economist at the United Nations Economic Commission for Latin America and the Caribbean. He was also a member of the executive board of the Inter American Development Bank and also Governor of the Caribbean Development Bank. In July 1997, he was appointed as Governor of the Central Bank of Trinidad and Tobago and held that post till 2002. Later that year, he joined the United National Congress and when, uh, won the St. Augustine constituency. In October 2005, he succeeded Basdeo Pandey as political leader of the United National Congress after being nominated by Pandey unopposed. He would also later from his own political party, the Congress of the People, COP, which in coalition with his former party contested and won the May 2010 snap elections. 
Mr. Dukaran was appointed Minister of Finance in 2010 for the New People's Partnership Coalition Government and began a series of programs designed to jumpstart the stagnant economy. In June 2012, Mr. Dukaran was appointed Minister of Foreign Affairs, a portfolio he held until June 2015. After his political career, Mr. Dukaran became a professor of practice at the University of the West Indies and a consultant for international organizations. He became Under Secretary General of EUCLID University in 2019 and was appointed as Secretary General in 2020 July. Mr. Dukaran has authored several publications and received many prestigious awards from various institutions. He was awarded the prestigious Pravasi Bharatiya Saman Award in 2017 by the President of India. This is the highest Indian award for non-resident Indians for exceptional and meritorious contribution for their chosen field. For our feature address, we now present to you Mr. Winston Dukaran. I must first of all thank my friend for doing so much research. And I will commend that to my students of the future. It is a privilege to be here. And I was indeed well positioned in the seat in for this occasion between two energetic parliamentarians, one of whom was in the upper house and a minister Mr. Randall Mitchell, and the other, as you heard, was the Member of Parliament for Shogwanas, Mr. Mr. Ambali, who paid tribute to my own stewardship when I started my political life, was right here in Felicity in Shogwanas. So I say to both of them, it was a privilege to sit in the middle and to hear them talk about whether the upper house was better than the lower house. And it was a memory that was brought home by the person who introduced me here today. Your Excellency, Mr. Raju Sharma from the Indian High Commission, you have always brought a sense of comfort in whenever you speak. I also see in our midst here today our ambassador who was the ambassador of Trinidad and Tobago to India and to China, Mr. Chandradat Singh. I haven't seen him for some time and I say welcome, Mr. Chandradat Singh. But today is a special day for many reasons, because you tend to meet in this meeting place that has met for all these years. Friends, families, associates, and I must acknowledge a friendship of someone who I had met maybe 40 years ago, Mr. Ramnaris Dwarka as a student at the Southern Polytechnic, and it was a great privilege to meet him here today, Mr. Dwarka. Thank you very much for making yourself known to me today. Let me start, first of all, by saying what a pleasure it is to have been invited 
to bring remarks on this Indian Arrival Day by Mr. Dirup Timol, the current president of the NCIC and our independent senator. I first met him in India when I had the distinct honor to receive the Pravasi Award. And he came up to me at that time, I did not know him. And he expressed his gratitude and appreciation that that had happened. I say to you now, thank you, because I didn't do it properly at that time. But we are here for Indian Arrival Day, and there's a long history to it, if you have heard, from some of those who spoke and those who did not speak. But I want to say a special word of acknowledgement to someone in my time who fought courageously for the proclamation of Indian Arrival Day as a national holiday. That person is Mr. Trevor Sudama, and I acknowledge him today for his efforts. I'm also very thankful for the friendship of Mr. Suraj Dev Mongru and his entire executive over the years. Ever since we held the first Diwali Nagar function in 1986 in Mid-Center Mall in Shogwadas, I note the contribution of Mr. the late Mr. Ram Ram for his contribution at that time to make that possible. I was then the Member of Parliament for Shogwanas, as did in that mentioned. But let me conclude these little open remarks by saying a special words of gratitude to the past president of the National Council of Indian Culture, Pandit Devkinanan Sharma, for his most distinguished service to our nation as he continues his life work as a spiritual leader and teacher of the Hindu community of Trinidad and Tobago. We salute <laughs> Pandit Devanand Sharma today as we have done over the years. In preparing to be here today, I began to read up all that was said about Indian Arrival Day at this time. And I saw two young women beautifully speaking in an article that was entitled The Strength of Our Ancestral Legacy. One such person was Wahida Sahid, and she captured her feelings in these words. As a fourth generation Indian descendant, Indian Arrival Day represents a day of pride. I am free to practice Islam. I am free to vote. And in that same article, another young lady, Ria Buru, echoed her thoughts eloquently when she said, Indian Arrival Day for me is an opportunity to conquer fear from the granddaughter of an indentured laborer. These words are deep in meaning. And it all came from a political journey for freedom. We know the history. In modern times, that freedom was given political expression. In 1947, it was not only the freedom of India, it soon spread to all places that was called the British Empire, in Asia, in Africa, and in the Caribbean. Today, Mohandas Gandhi is a symbol of that freedom worldwide, followed by other great political leaders 
like Nelson Mandela, Martin Luther King. The freedom I speak about is about the ability to choose one's own destiny. So 178 years ago, our forefathers took their jahaji bundle and sailed across the seas. They met others from Africa who were also in the midst of their own journey for freedom and in the land where the Americans live. The Europeans ruled and the people from China and the Middle East and everywhere chose to find their own destiny. In that jihadji bundle, there was courage, compassion, and confidence. I remember in the height of my political controversial days, I was told, take your jihadji bundle and walk. So I decided to title my talk to you here today, take up your jihadji bundle and walk to choose one's own destiny. As an academic, I learned a lot from many who have studied this subject. And I remember in the early period of indentureship, some academics referred to it, and I believe Mr. Ambali made a reference to it here today as well, as the search for identity. I too, not schooled in this subject at all, joined Bridget Barrington and edited a book on this theme. Today, I realize it was not a search for identity. Our forefathers came with an identity expressed in their religions, in their culture, and even in their public values and their community governance. We know as we grew up about the Panchayat form of government. Perhaps it was that identity that kept the vast and diverse nations of India together in spite of the multiple cleavages and conflicts over their journey. The Indian identity then was never at stake. What was at stake then and now is a language of progress. Reference was made to Hemraj Ramdat's new book, Beyond Indentorship, Indo-Trinidadian Entrepreneurs, described by one of our most eminent scholars who is present here today, with Professor Brinsley Samaru, as a story of resilience which fills a gap in Indo-Caribbean narrative. I read with great pride the comments of an international journalist who is also here today, Parash Ramota, in an article and a message which was entitled, Indian diaspora needs psychological and political stimulus and call for a rebranding of our portfolio to promote national development and nation building to greater heights than when they came here. This language of progress was also so vividly expressed in a souvenir brochure of the Abdul Aziz Trust from Dow Village. By words and means, we are again shifting grounds. At the time of our own independence in 1962, our destiny depended on the language of progress in our complex pathway to nationhood. Nationhood has eluded us. Our leaders, instead of rising to the higher level of freedom, 
surrendered to the politics of survival, choosing, one, choosing one's own destiny for the leaders meant choosing one, one's own political survival, remaining in our comfort zone and hoping a nation will happen on its own. What is at stake is a language of progress in the public values that will govern us and in the character of the nation that will inspire us. So in the year 2023, as we get closer to 200 years since the fatal Razak docked in Trinidad, we must again refresh our ability to choose our own destiny. Where our destiny is rooted in our national cultures, where freedom rises to a higher level of taking care of the aspirations of all races and religions who by the, for, by the forces of history and geography have come to make this their homeland. Mr. Rambley spoke to that as he came from the podium and he sat next to me. I said to him, what is missing is the vehicle. Yes, there will be problems. And there are problems. But even now, the problems are more acute than in prior times. But as Gandhi responded to a reporter in his time, when asked, why would you want to govern India, a country with so many problems in all walks of life? He quietly responded to the English reporter, Yes, there are problems, but from now on, they will be our problems, not the British. As the journey continues, the problems in our society are our problems, and the language of progress must take precedence over despair and discontent. Yes, we must keep our democratic freedoms alive, and the nation must celebrate that freedom together, as we did in the events of 1990, a triumph over the darkness of a violent attack in Parliament, the seat of a democracy. But as I reflect, that victory over 100 years earlier was expressed in perhaps the most inspiring poem ever written. A poem so powerful that grown men, like best-selling authors, poets laureates, eminent figures in arts and sciences and politics, were moved to tears. In his poem, entitled let my country awake. Rabindranath Tagore saw the world trembled as he inspired the politics ahead of him. He was accorded the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1913. Then it was proclaimed that it was a powerful call to action and a declaration of belief in achievable change. It is a call for a higher level of freedom that resonates loudly today in our own country. How could a mere poem have such gigantic effects? It was really a poem capturing a moment in history. The artist, like the Calisonians in our country, the Black Stalin and many others did so, so often for us. That moment of history always mirrors the political insights of the time. For the life of a nation 
is invariably shaped by its politics. It has been so for all times and in all places and in all versions of expressions, in song and music, in dance, in drama and in written word. And today we had perhaps one of the best displays of our songs or music or dance or drama that we have ever had on a Diwali celebration, on an Indian Arrival Day celebration. So yes, the journey continues. Inevitable change is about politics. Politics is noble. The practice of politics must also be noble. And politics must guide our destiny. Not by making us the victim of the politics, but by shaking and shaping it, by waking again the search for higher freedom, as it did in, 19, in 1845, when this particular journey began. In that journey, we know that progress will not have come without sacrifice, as we today reap the rewards of our parents' sacrifices. It is now time for us to rumble again by expressing our gratitude. Tagore's immortal poetic words are a powerful inspiration. As he concluded, into that heaven of freedom, my father, let my country awake. Where the mind is without fear and the head is held high, where knowledge is free, where the world has not been broken into fragments by narrow domestic walls, where words come out from the depths of truth, where the mind is led forward into everlasting thought and action. So as I close this opportunity granted to me by our dear Senator and Chairman of the NCIC. I refer to these words which were put to pen over a hundred years ago. For they capture the deep inner yearnings of our times and in our place. And we owe it to our young people who have performed here today and who lived in our midst. So as the journey continues, as the sacrifices of years gone by take root, let there be the powerful energy of gratitude. Let us take up a jihadi bundle and walk with pride, courage and confidence to shake up our politics, to shape our destiny and to dirty our hands in the public arena of all those who choose to call this land our home. As our own political journey takes a new turn, we must use this power of gratitude to choose our own destiny. We must therefore take up our Jahaji bundle and walk to shape a new destiny in political terms for our country, Trinidad and Tobago. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Thank you very much to our feature speaker for our feature address, Mr. Winston Dukaran. And we would now like to invite him to center stage. Also, we would like to request Senator the Honorable Deerup Timal, President of the National Council of Indian Culture, to present our feature speaker, Mr. Winston Dukaran, with a token of appreciation on behalf of the NCIC. Thank you very much to our president and also the president of the youth arm. 
We'll now continue with the program. We have some exciting things lined up. And to tell us a little bit more, we have Leanne Duki. Thank you, Vijay. This group was founded in 2019. They performed at many events. They are a familiar face at the CPL T20 cricket matches. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the Republic Bank Extraordinaire Tassa Group.
Let's hear it once more for the Republic Bank Extraordinaire Tassa Group. Continuing with the entertainment, we have for you RG The Band. You saw them earlier, but now we have a lot more in store for you. To entertain us, we have the youthful and talented Prakash Ramcharan, the 2022 winner of Sangeet Pradarshan, Neera Hari Pasad, the talented Abhijit Ankatesu, the Nightingale Saraswati Maharaj, and the very versatile Mukesh Kolai. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome RG the band. First of all, happy Indian arrival day to each and every one.
Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. This next song of mine is one of my personal favorites of all time. It's the Kishore Kumar song, so hope you guys enjoy. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. At Extra Foods, we care for you. That's why we always have the widest variety, the best prices, spacious aisles of total convenience, plus clean, safe surroundings. Let us care for you. Extra Foods, always extra for less.
for you. That's why we always have the widest variety, best prices, spacious aisles of total convenience, plus clean, safe surroundings. Let us care for you. Extra foods, always extra for less.
चाहूंगा मैं तुझे साज सवेरे फिर भी कभी अब नाम को तेरे आवाज second song here is a very popular Arjit Singh selection and I'll leave the name in the song itself. I do hope you all enjoy.
कैसे तुझसे दिल ना लगाए कोई रबने तुझको बनाने में करती है उसकी खाली तिजोरिया for you. That's why we always have the widest variety, the best prices, spacious aisles of total convenience, plus clean, safe surroundings. Let us care for you. Extra foods, always extra for less.
Especially for Mr. Mongru. Ah, 
you. With extra foods, we care for you. That's why we always have the widest variety, the best prices, spacious aisles of total convenience, plus clean, safe surroundings. Let us care for you. Extra foods, always extra for less. कब तक प्यासी नजरिया तरसेगी कब तक प्यासी नजरिया बरसेगी कब मेरे आंगन बदरिया छोर के आ जा तो के आ जा दुनिया की हर जा तुझको पुकारे मेरे गीत रे मेरे गीत रे ओ मेरे मितवा तेरा देश न जानू नाम न जानू तेरा देश न जानू कैसे मैं भेजू संदेश न जानू ये फूलों की ये झूलों की रुस न जा तुझको पुकारे मेरे गीत रे मेरे गीत रे ओ मेरे मितवा मेरे मीत रे आजा तुझको पुकारे Thank you so very much. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear a round of applause for the band on stage, RG the band. Let's hear a round of applause. Gore gore, chand se mukh par kali kali. गोरे गोरे चांद से मुख पर काली काली आखे हैं देख के जिनको 
कितनी दूर जाए वो मत वाली आंखें हैं very much mukesh kulai that last item anybody remember taken from the movie anita manish kumar and sadha i have a small assignment now and that is to express words of appreciation there were so many people who have contributed to the success of this month's celebration but it will be too numerous too numerous to mention firstly i would like to thank the ministry of tourism culture and the arts and of course the honorable minister for gracing us with his presence here today the mp for shagwanas west dinesh rambali sri raju sharma our feature speaker for this evening mr winston dukaran and some of our corporate sponsors extra foods limited the little store central orchids limited i want to thank mr yasin rahman for his contribution Sankhya Television, Mr. Omkar and team, thank you so much. And of course, the big band, the man himself, R.J. the band, led by Rishi Gayadin. Superb musicians. Yes, they really deserve a rusty round of applause. Come, let me hear it for them. Our sound engineer, Mr. Krishna Narayan Singh, Krishna Sounds, all events, lighting. Our technical support team, Mr. Sean Ramjit, Mr. Yasin Rahman, all our artists, vocalists, dance group, our presenters, Leanne Diane Duki, Ms. Devi Ramnath, and Vijay Ramkisun. Fantastic job, guys. To the various media houses who covered the event, thank you so much. And to you, our distinct, distinguished audience, you know, I would like to share something with you. We are celebrating our 170th anniversary. Well, it comes to an end today. On the 5th of May, that's not too long ago, 
Guyana celebrated their Indian arrival and on the 10th of May, Jamaica celebrated their 170th anniversary. And our brothers and sisters in Suriname, this coming weekend, they'll be celebrating their 150th anniversary. And some of the older folks would know when we celebrated our 150th anniversary, the former president of India at the time, he was the president, Sri Shankal Dayar Sharmaji came right here, these premises, and celebrated with us. This time, we have the president of India who will be joining the Surinamese on the 4th to celebrate. And we are taking artists like the Chatak Foods, Shooting Stars, Tasa Group, Devashish, Ramdat, Woodland Dance Academy, they are all going journeying to perform. As I say, Yatra Jari Rehne Chahi. The journey must continue. Happy Indian arrival here, my dear brothers and sisters. To bring the curtains down on today's presentation, I invite to do a dance taken from the movie Dawn. You all remember that movie, Amitabh Bachchan and Zina Taman. KK Pand Banana Sawala. Let's welcome now the closing item, the Shiv Shakti Dance Group. Please, let's hear it for Shiv Shakti. Thank you. Have a wonderful and blessed day. अरे तुम का का बताई भैया हमरा हाल का है बताए क्या बताए क्या निकले थे हम हलवा खाने मुँह ही जल गया है का तुम का बताई अब का समझाई बड़ी दुर्घटना है मुश्किल बचना है चला ऐसा चक्कर हो कुछ ऐसी आंधी हो बड़ी हम क्या करनी बड़ी कूदा फांदी हो बड़ी लंबी चावड़ी कोई भागा दावड़ी दिन रात जो हमने जाग जाग की ऐसी भागम भाग कि हम कभी आ गए कभी हुआ गए कभी ही आ गए कभी हुआ गए कब इधर भागे कभी इधर भागे फिर तुम नजिया ये जान तो आई हमरी जान में जान तो आई हमरी जान में जान तो आई हमरी जान में जान भुखाई के पान बना रस वाला भुखाई के पान बना रस वाला खुल जाए पंद यकल का ताला राम दुहाई चक्कर में पड़ गया आए हाय हाय कहा जान मैं तो सूली पे चढ़ गया आए हाय कैसा सीधा सादा है कैसा बोला भाला अरे कैसा सीधा सादा है कैसा बोला भाला जाने कौन घड़ी में पड़ गया पढ़े लिखो से पाला मुझे छुड़ी से मुझे छुड़ी से हुआ भला छोरा गंगा किनारे वाला छोरा गंगा किनारे वाला बड़ी अलबेली करे अटकेली उसकी बड़ी है धूम है ऐसी बन भावन सब देखें उसको पलट पलट और घूम घूम 
वो नगर नगर जाए टकर टकर और अंग अंग में ज्योति चमके जगर जगर सुंदर बाला बल्कों मिलिए एक सपन लोक अधरो मिलिए यो वन हाला इठलाती है बल खाती है तन का चंदन वो झलक झलक झलकाती है वो नैन द्वार से तन में आके मन में ज्वाला जगाती है वो चंद्रमुखी है वो मिगने है वो चंद्रमुखी है वो मृगने है वो रूपवती है वो मधुमती है हिंसा 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 एक कन्या कुमारी हमारी सूरत पे मर गई हाय 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 एक मीठी कटारी हमारे दिल में उतर गई हाय हाय किसी गोरी गोरी किसी छोरी बाबा We care for you. That's why we always have the widest variety, the best prices, spacious aisles of total convenience, plus clean, safe surroundings. Let us care for you. Extra foods, always extra for less.